All right, what you're looking at is a, a shed that I lived in with my wife for three years. Had to come back to finish removing some things and and move on from uh, being a part of it. But I'm gonna give you a small tour of, uh, there's the doggy door, for example. <laughs> my pups used to go in and out of this. All four of them living in here with us. Had a magnet up here to hold that on. <laughs> in and out of here for three solid years until I was able, we were able to get a house. The kickstand wasn't part of it. <laughs> so, this is the shed. I cleaned it out best I could with uh, all the tools I had laying around. Keep in mind, it is pretty dirty right now because it's been un un uh, unused for about two years now, maybe two and a half years. Didn't get to finishing everything I wanted to finish. I bought it, you know, all like this originally. It was just, you know, classic tough shed stuff and added, you know, the best example of what I can say the work was that I did was probably the roof. I put a brand new roof on it. Um, you can see that by my greasy head, that's where I was sleeping. Queen size bed right here. All the clothes, all the food, 55 inch TV there. The heater here, the refrigerator there, stand for like whatever other crap we had, dog beds. Boy, it was a doozy. Looking back on it now, I really don't think I could do one day going to work or something in the morning, coming from here. But somehow, if you've lived in a place that's not of the normal, you adapt and you kind of just keep moving on which changes the way you see a place of living. I know in some of my videos I probably mentioned having lived in a, a shed at some point, but I've never exposed it to a camera before. Some uh, very dark days in here. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> the first uh, days of buying this thing, I, and I had to break it down, you know, by walls. I had to rip the roof off, take each stud off, each wall came apart, wall, one piece wall, one piece wall, and a very heavy um, aluminized steel foundation that is massive, probably weighed 700 pounds. A U-Haul truck, a, oh my god, I had to hit up um, some extra help and pay some people some money to help me move things around. You know, I mean, that doesn't look pretty, but it is fully insulated as winter can be kind of bad out here. Definitely a lot of rain. I remember it flooding out here in the uh, front area. And water never got up to the, the steel area because this is on a foundation of concrete, but it was definitely some strange times. I had a whole fence out there that corralled my dogs in so they could go in and out all day while we were all at work. And, uh, I had a little AC unit in here, but boy, good times, the bad times. <clears throat> Actually, you can see here, this is a, I don't know, some, it's a tough shed, but what I did do is I wrote <clears throat> our names on here. I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit. So Athena and Justin, and then Zeke, Boo, Una, Prince, and Penny are pups. I did that some time ago. Um, probably, you know, when I knew I was going to be leaving here. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. As you can see, the dust that developed in this place alone, because I had set it up next to basically what was grass at the time, which quickly turned into dirt. In the dry summers, a lot of the dirt would come in the room and it was a constant effort of keeping the place clean. Um, but like I said, it is crazy how, how much you can adapt to almost anything. I mean, you think about every day of the year working, 
I can't even remember if I was working the same job or a different job. I don't even remember, honestly. I, it's kind of a blur. A lot of my life in the last five years has been like that. A lot of stuff going on. But, you know, I'm uh, lucky to say... Yeah, all good. Thank you. I say that it's, uh, it's been... I'm a lucky person no matter what. <laughs> you know, you can't... <clears throat> you can't really ever be too down. Even if you got something like this. A lot of people don't even have this. The size um, was 15 by 9, I believe. Or 15 by... No, 15 by 8. And then the ceiling, I can't even... Uh, I'm about a half a foot away from touching it up there. But I remember it would get real hot in here in the summertime and... Because there's no real attic, I just tried to separate these R13, there are 13, they're R13 or 15, I remember, um, foam sheathing. And I remember, I remember um, thinking that if I put the gap between the actual roof and leave a little air gap, that that should reduce the amount of heat that developed in here. But no such luck. They, it just would get scorching up here. Uh, so much that I wanted to actually build an extra layer on top of the roof to create an air gap with some more plywood or something. But I didn't really get that done. I did do with some reflective uh, passive cooling with it. I guess you could call it with some white, uh, white uh, plastic stuff that would I thought would you know. Reflect some of the heat on the sun facing, you know, east to west area. It helped a little bit. But yeah, this was a doozy, man. This was um this was sleeping here every night, getting to bed. That's that's pretty gross, but it is drywall, which is, you know. <laughs> you know, boy. It's a it's a very very uh candy video. Um, I guess you could say. <clears throat> And here you can see some of the area where water had leaked down before I was able to reassemble the roof. Uh, it was through the tarp. And I remember moving basically close to a winter um, and struggling to get the roof on this thing in time. Because keep in mind, I had to rip off the old shingles uh, and um, the plywood, which were not nailed on. They weren't, they weren't screwed on. They were... Uh, they're, nail gun equipment used to to put all of the the stuff together so i had to take big two by sixes and and smash up like that to pop the roof um uh, four by eight sheets of plywood off which wasn't even plywood it was particle board uh compressed particle board whatever you call it stuff might be able to see it there but no it doesn't matter yeah i you know i look back on this time is a uh time of uh uh, to, to not really, I don't know, I guess I learned a lot. I would say just moving this thing from one city to another was one of the hardest things I've ever done physically. And, and, and not so much emotionally, but definitely emotionally there a little bit too. But leaving here is pretty emotional too. And I'm just glad, it, you know, family gets to use it and uh, use it for storage, etc. But yeah, that's that. Um, thinking about living in a shed, you could do it. You could do it with four dogs with two people if you want to. You could do it for three years. But just know you'll be out of there eventually. And just try to appreciate what you have. It. I guess that's the video. You know. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope it's not too sappy. But it is a. It is kind of an emotional thing for me. So. All right. Take care, everyone.